Do you ever feel just bloated and miserable? <laughs> you know, like you're just so full, kind of like a middle-aged spread. Do you feel like you, um, your belly's all swollen or that you look bloated? Most of us have. <laughs> you could drop me a comment if you've experienced that, and I'm betting you have. Hi, I'm Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic, and I want to talk to you today about 23 things that can help you with bloating. Either identify why you're bloated or what to do about it. And since I really am sure that we've all experienced this, I think everybody will get something out of it. So, the good news is that you can change that bloated feeling in less than 24 hours if you know why you're bloated and what to do. So let's get it changed, right? Nobody likes that feeling at all. Okay, number one, embrace water. Guys, I know you've heard drink water, drink water, drink water, and you think, ah, oh, boring, boring, boring. But when you're bloated, you might think that you have too much water that's kind of what it feels like, you too much water. But the odds are you're a little bit dehydrated, and that's why your body is sucking up and holding the water. And the way to get rid of dehydration is to drink more water. So it's always good to drink water, especially if you feel bloated. And what it will do is help your digestion as well. It aids in that process so that you can clear out that bloat. So light tea will work as well to help you with your digestion and to get that hydration back. Number two, take a long hot bath. Wouldn't that feel good? <laughs> well, add a couple of cups of Epsom salt to that water, which draws the fluids out of your body and you've really had a great experience. It's actually recommended that if you suffer a lot from bloating that you should do that about once a week. So, you know, long hot bath, medicinal purposes only, right? <laughs> Number three, eat some bananas. Now, diabetics need to be careful about bananas because they're so sweet. Uh, less ripe is better. But if you were to eat not a whole banana twice a day, but a piece of a banana twice a day, you could clear out your bloat 30% just by doing that. The potassium in the banana pulls out that fluid and so helps your body regulate that so bananas good snacks avoid some vegetables or avoid eating too much of some vegetables because some of our good veggies and we need to eat them they can really give us a lot of gas which is also part of why you're feeling so bloated right so foods like uh, broccoli white onion cabbage um, cauliflower, artichokes, those kind of things can sit in your belly. They're hard to digest, and so they sit in your belly and they create this gas, which makes you feel mm, miserable, right? So just watch how much of that you're eating. Number five, chewing gum. Chewing gum can cause that bloat. How does it do that? Because as you're chewing, you're taking in air and air gets trapped in your system and causes bloating too. It's like gas, right? So it gets in there and um, I caution you too that a lot of our gum today has artificial sweeteners and artificial sweeteners, some of them can also contribute to bloating. Uh, try some ginger tea, okay? I'm kind of giving you the, the, uh, the bad things and then what to do about it. <laughs> ginger tea is very soothing to your body and it helps increase your metabolism and get that digestion going faster so that it can rid your body of the bloat quicker. Try fasting. You know, as we sleep overnight, we're fasting and our body digestive system is recovering, right? Well, some people find that if they don't eat anything after about seven or eight at night before they go to bed, then they have much less bloating because their bodies had longer to recover. Um, they say that 12 hours will clear out um, and let your digestive system recover, okay? So fasting is not a bad thing. 
if you're diabetic, you have to watch it because of your sugar. But other than that, you should be good. Number eight, eat protein. Protein is good for us. Don't let t people tell you not to eat protein. Protein is good. And 15 grams of protein really helps to reduce the bloat because it is... Um, it causes our system to work differently. Get rid of those carbs that are sitting in your stomach causing the gas, causing the problems. Protein is a good thing. This one I really love is number nine and it is trying to eat small meals. Um, most of us eat three meals a day, right? And they're bigger meals. What if you took that and made it six meals that were every three hours apart, say? Smaller meals more meals but smaller and in that um, I actually used a program that I love called Zen and that program has you eat every three hours and eat some protein some fat and some carb in every uh, one of those meals whether it's through a shake or through a meal for through a snack and I found that I felt so much better when I did that guys three you know, eating the smaller meals every three hours. So give that a try. That will help you as well to keep away from the bloat, if you, especially if that happens a lot to you. Don't gulp air. I just gulped air. <laughs> but when you're, um, you're walking and you're talking or fast talking or eating and talking, you're gulping air. And that air is part of what feels bloated. Okay, that's part of what fills you up so don't do that don't eat and talk especially rapidly don't like walk and eat things like that not good for you it's suggested that if you have a big problem with bloating that you not drink coffee because of the caffeine well that's not going to happen for me I'm going to have my coffee but I did eliminate all the sugar in my coffee because sugar helps to cause bloat as well, especially in your coffee. So if you can eliminate the sugar, uh, then coffee wouldn't be so bad for you. No straws goes back to the gulping the air, getting air in your system from chewing gum, from eating and talking and walking, that kind of thing. Air gets in when you use a straw. So don't use a straw. That's an easy fix, right? How many of you have heard that if you eat beans, you're going to get gas? <laughs> well, it's true. Okay. Beans uh, components, such as they are in your belly, are going to create gas. The more you eat, the more gas you get. So just keep in mind that you want to watch how much beans you eat because it can cause that extreme discomfort. Okay. Number 14, white flour. White flour is processed. It has little fiber. It sits in your belly and it can cause bloat. Number 15, and this one we all should know, and that is greasy foods and fat. All right? Guys, I cut all that out. And I'm not talking about good fat now. Fat is important. You should eat fats like avocado and use olive oil, that kind of thing. But to eat, I'm talking about McDonald's fat, okay? I'm talking about that greasy kind of fat. I cut that out of my diet, and I have found that whenever I have, you know, broke bad <laughs> and had something from one of the fast food places or something that's greasy like that, I am miserable. My stomach just does not accept that anymore. And the fact that I feel so miserable, that tells me why we should not be eating that. <laughs> so cut those things out as best you can. Number 16, get rid of the alcohol. Now, I'm going to have trouble with this too. I'm going to have my coffee and occasionally I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> but I do make sure that I have a sugar-free mixer with it. I do make sure that I'm not having a lot of alcohol or having it every day. Be smart. Use your brain. Number 17, when you're feeling that bloat and it's really getting to you, take a walk. Just stop. 10, 15 minutes, your body will work that out for you. Give yourself that opportunity. Just take a nice walk. 
as we get older, we also get more sensitive to different foods. And the biggest culprit we seem to have of that is dairy. So the more dairy you eat, the more likely you are, especially if you're getting older, to have stomach issues, bloating issues, discomfort. Number 19, I kind of touched on this, was artificial sweeteners that are in our gum. You might use it in your coffee, something. Get rid of those, guys. They are all bad for you, every single one of them. Use a natural sweetener. You can use honey. You can use stevia. Use something that is natural that your body knows what to do with so it's not sitting there causing you additional problems. Number 20, get enough sleep. Now, this is interesting. You know, your body, when you're sleeping, produces some chemicals, leptin and ghrelin, I think is how you pronounce that. Those chemicals help to control your appetite. So if you sleep more, you should eat less. It will help you to control that appetite. And we know sleep's good for us no matter what. So wow, number one, right? Number 21, don't overeat. How many times have you you finished a meal and thought, oh, I wish I hadn't eaten all that. I didn't need all that. Well, it's true. You didn't need all that. We all need to practice portion control. That doesn't mean you don't have a day where you just pork out, right? I mean, we're human, we're gonna do things. But on a regular day-to-day -day basis, if you watch your portions, that is gonna help you as well not to have that horrible stuffed feeling. Low salt, we all know salt can help you retain water. We don't need a lot of salt for flavoring. I personally, I like to use some salt, okay? I'll use a little bit, but I don't use a whole lot because it really is not good for us, especially if we tend to bloat. There are though, and this is number 23, there are some natural diuretics that will help you. Pineapple, papaya, uh, honeydew melon, those things act naturally in your body like an electrolyte you know electrolytes to help your body process and fight bloat so have a little bit of those things again if you're diabetic watch out because of the sugar but all those things can help you to get rid of that stuffed feeling and you can get rid of it fast so knowing what causes it and knowing what you can do to get rid of it now you're good to go you shouldn't have to struggle with bloating anymore. Those are the best tips I have for why you bloat and what you can do about it. I hope that you found them helpful. Uh, I certainly appreciate you being here with me today and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel so that you can continue to get knowledge to help you to get healthy. This is Donna Denson, the Dynamic Diabetic. Thank you so much for being here today. Subscribe to my channel. I will see you soon. May God bless and keep you till we connect again. Bye-bye.